Hey guys, Shadow Rockets here with another episode of Diary of a Mediocre Gamer, Self-Help Edition. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have added two different sections now, uh, Self-Help section and the very sad version of <laughs> attempting to me or me attempting to play Battlefield for mm -hmm. the most part and uh yeah, people making fun of me, but that's okay. I have high self-esteem, so <laughs> there we go. Today we're going to talk about friends, choosing your friends, and what a real friend should be. Um, so I guess I'll get started with uh, what a friend isn't. <laughs> so, I mean, we could go the very blunt, very to the point of you don't want people that use you to be your friend, obviously. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, but that could be hidden, I think, in uh, in many different in many different facets of the friendship. Um, maybe you drive all the time, and they just don't even ask anymore. You just drive, mm -hmm. you know. Um, which for me, I like driving, so that's not a problem. But you know, for other people, it could be a problem. Do you guys? Uh... You know what is a problem? What? When someone befriends you, and you actually think that, oh, hey, this guy's cool. He wants to be my friend. But actually, he just wants to sleep with your best friend. <laughs> I'm assuming that happened? Yeah. Uh -huh. Freshman year. Oh, man. I mean, yeah. that does happen. I mean, I can't actually second that notion, <laughs> personally. But um, I guess when we're kind of choosing our friends, I mean, I guess for the most part, you got to look at it and the fact that when you are choosing a friend or you are becoming friends with your person, it's for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. And I found myself liking or just becoming friends with a certain person based on our similar interests. Like, oh, this person likes baseball too, or oh, they like this certain rock group that I do, or such and such. And I kind of learn after a while of becoming friends with that person. I feel like forging connections based on just factors such as that that really don't have any substantial meaning in terms of friendship. It's really just being connected with just similar trade or similar like mm -hmm. but really you're trying to find a person who kind of like connects with you on a deeper level who understands you as a person so kind of like connecting with a person based on those personal interactions or just who comes from a certain similar intellect or who can actually understand you on a deeper level i think that's what actually constitutes a true friend more so than just having a similar interest in right and I mean, like, like you said, music. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, a lot for a lot of people, it's a place to get away. <laughs> yes, you know, definitely. People use music a lot for that and for mm -hmm. emotional reasons. So if you have the same taste in music, generally, mm -hmm. you do find that you have more um, of the same values or same emotions. True. So True. that's actually a pretty good one. I, I do like <laughs> rock. <laughs> yes. And that's not to discount the fact that if you do have a similar interest that you cannot like forge a good friendship. Mm -hmm. It's just actually finding that personal connection, not just making a friendship based on just similar things. Interests. Y yeah. But yeah, most sure. like more than likely than not, if you do have those similar interests, you will find that connection with someone. Mm -hmm. it's just emotional connection. Emotional connection versus just like kind of physical. It's kinda of like an icebreaker. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. <laughs> it's a good way to get in. <laughs> yes. Icebreakers for the win. <laughs> Don't. The dump. <laughs> let's talk about, you know, an interesting thing for me is let's talk about making new friends, mm -hmm. actually. Um, like the the process of finding that human that mm -hmm. you just want to hang out with. <laughs> <laughs> that odd process that we do. Um, I know that uh, I took that strengths test and I'm a woo, so I okay. like meeting, you know, strangers. But um, for a lot of people, it's it's very hard to mm -hmm. approach somebody and say, oh, hey, I want to be your friend, <laughs> but without doing that, you know, um, and I like to think of classes, you know, going into a new class for a new year as an example, mm -hmm. um, especially in a big college like the University of Florida, you may not know anybody in your class of 300 people, or you may not know anybody in your class of 18 people, because yeah. we do have those, believe it or not. That's true. Um, but, you know, generally it's like, I know in the engineering college, if, if there's a large auditorium, which we get a lot, and not a lot of people, we like to spread out every other chair or every couple of chairs in between somebody. And it's kind of like, that's that's antisocial, you know? I mean, I respect wanting to get away from others and wanting to be alone, but, but you know, if you'll feel lonely. Like, throughout yeah. the semester, one time isn't, isn't, you know, the entire time. 
Mm-hmm. So I don't know, and and I feel like people take it as being awkward if like, oh, we have never met, you know, we've been sitting in the same room but never talked before. Sure. Why would we do that now? But it's like if you don't do that, you're never going to be friends. That's true. It's well, never gonna get better. <laughs> sometimes it just takes like, it just takes some sort of catalyst to make a relationship happen. Like maybe you, there is a person in your, like, in that same auditorium that like sits. 10 rows behind you and you've never noticed this person before and then you go you go out at, with a friend of yours and you bump into the person and you're like oh hey you know uh, or he's he comes up to you and he's like hey you're in my class and I'm, and I'm like oh yeah and then you t- you you come to talk and then you like find similar interests and then w- once class rolls around again you're like Bro, <laughs> you know, sit next to each other. Exactly. And then you even exactly. have a study buddy. So I mean, yeah, yeah that works out for everybody. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, but uh, I guess you know we kind of talked about about um making friends there, and we talked about good ways to find interest or whatever you know good good values. But how about I, I mean I hit it I hit it at the beginning. But what what is a bad friend? What do you what do you really feel a bad friend is? Somebody who's really not a friend. If you're in a room with this person and you just feel like they suck the <laughs> the energy out of you, like you just feel so emotionally drained after talking to this, or you're just like just being in the presence of this person, that's a bad sign. Um, it's true. Again, that's, that's true. just personal you know, experience. Yeah, so <laughs> coming from personal experience, you know, if you ever you ever you know hang hung out with somebody and it's like. You know, you just want to just collapse into bed and just not wake up ever again. True. Main probably not a good person. For the most part, you got to treat a friendship kind of like a relationship in this respect that your friend is someone you want to look to and give, extend your support. I mean, you're going to serve that, I don't say unconditional, but I guess it could be unconditional support and happiness for that person. Mm-hmm. Like when they something happens, happen, 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 something that happens to them is happy or good. Like, you actually extend the happiness to them. Yeah. Like, you actually see the best for that person. You see the best in that person. You want to see them do well. You're their cheerleader. You kind of coach them along. And you just and wanna... they're yours. Exactly. It's that, that bond you share between each other, and you just have that good bond. Mm-hmm. Definitely, definitely. Well, I think this is a good place to end. Um, so the call to action would be to try to be a better friend this week. Um, you know, try to enjoy people's company. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, guys, hope you like it. Uh, Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Shadow Rockets out.